During the height of my success in the music industry at this point, money meant everything to me. I was hunting for it so much that it was more important than relationships. Lance Brown grew up in a Christian home and was baptized at age 11. As a young teen, he also discovered his love for music. I had found a guitar in my mom's closet, and I just picked it up and just started figuring out what chords were, what things, you know, how do you play these notes? And then I would also go to church where we would have a youth group and I would be fascinated with the people on stage singing songs and I would ask them after church, how did you play it? And I'd bring my guitar with me and I'd want to play it. Lance grew in his faith through his teens and went to a Christian college. After graduation, he landed his dream job. In my last semester at the Masters University, I ended up being offered an internship uh, at Capitol Records. And I immediately took to it. It was something that I found very fascinating. Lance's time at Capitol Records eventually led him to a career as a touring musician. I had started to become fully fascinated with the band life and being a traveling musician, would go on tours. During that time, my walk with the Lord, I think, was still fairly good. However, the people that I was starting to surround myself with were not believers. And I just thought to myself, well, maybe there was something else other than just hanging out with other believers. After a year of touring, Lance decided that life on the road wasn't for him, and he went into artist management. Working for a management company that had a lot of high-level artists, um, what we would call legacy artists in the business, was fascinating to me. I learned right then and there that God instilled in my heart this. It was my passion. This is what I was supposed to do. Lance pursued that passion by starting his own company called One Moment Management, named for the moment he dedicated his life to Christ. I was passionate, I was young, I was excited to start working with new clients, and I immediately just picked up everybody under the sun I could find. I started putting my faith to the side as more and more accolades were showing up in my life. I realized rather quickly that if I did something, somebody would tell me that I was great and I would want to do more of it. I sort of felt like I didn't necessarily need God in that way. I felt like I could just do it by myself. As he spent time with the bands he was managing, Lance's Christian convictions began to erode. These were my friends. These were all the people that I would hang out with. We would go on tour together. And my concern was just making a lot of money. You know, that's all I cared about. I just wanted to work hard. I wanted to, you know, I didn't care what my bands were doing. I didn't care how they carried themselves, what the lyrics said. All I cared was about success and money. I was making all sorts of bad decisions and I just needed something to change in my life. But I was starting to figure out like, well, man, is this me? Like, is this who I am, really am? Despite Lance's success, his life was falling apart. In 2009, he shut down his business and moved back in with his parents. I was going through probably one of the hardest times of my life. I had, at this point, gotten married and was divorced within a few months. I had a child that was along the way. I felt like the Holy Spirit was speaking to me directly, and I felt so convicted that I felt like I should rededicate myself. I had to just humble myself. I really needed to go back to the beginning, understand what is more valuable than anything, which is my relationship with him. This was about eternal things at this point. And my mind, my soul, every part of me just changed like that. Lance's renewed faith helped him trust God with his life. I started thinking less about what I needed to control and just let God just do his thing in my life. It's amazing how that works because within six months of my rededication, I was offered a job at a Christian label, a Christian label in Los Angeles. All of the Christian labels are not in Los Angeles. And I find that to be almost a wink, you know, like he created something for me. Now, Lance says God is the focus of his career. He became a partner in the Dream Label Group, representing worship and gospel artists. Today, he is married and has a blended family of five. I ultimately feel that Jesus being so loving 
on my life and me recognizing that. In all of the worldly things that are in this world, there's nothing more than, than Him and the eternal. And I cannot be more grateful than anything for that. Wonderfully true words. There's nothing more than Him and the eternal and His love for you. When you finally have that breakthrough where you understand the infinite love that Jesus has for you, that while you were a sinner, while you were messing up, while you were going your own way, he loved you so much that he said, I'll die for you. I'll pay the penalty for every mistake you've ever made, everything you've ever done wrong, because I want you to be with me for all eternity. We were made for a relationship with our Creator, and, and that's what Jesus enables us to have. And in that, you'll find fulfillment. He is the Eternal One, and He has put eternity in our hearts, and the only thing that can fill that eternity is Him. Money can't do it. Fame can't do it. You can't drink it till you fill it up. You can't take enough drugs to fill it. You can't do the things that the world offers and find that. The only thing that will satisfy, the only thing that will make that difference and give you a hope and a future is a relationship with Him. Now, do you believe that He exists? That's a big question. For Lance, He did, but then He walked away and He found great joy in coming back. Some of you, you believe He exists. Some of you, this is the first time you've heard this, that there's a God who loves you, that will come to you, that will take care of everything you've done wrong. For either one of you, either, either camp, whether you believe or you just don't know, there's a wonderful prayer. Jesus, if you're my Messiah, if you're my Savior, could you show up for me? And when you pray that with all of your heart, the Bible says that when you seek him with all of your heart, you'll find him. So try it today. And if you need help with this prayer, we're here for you. All you have to do is call us, 1-800-700-7000. It's very simple. Jesus, if you're my Savior, could you show up? Could you show me how much you love me? Do it now. Pray it now. 1-800-700-7000.